but don't go yet because th there's a very important um, factor which I should have mentioned very early in case some people left already. Uh, so basically, once you're done with this and you want to render out your animation, you don't. Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful year. Happy New Year. Compliments of the season and welcome to 2021. Uh, I'm it's very happy to join you once more this year and I hope this year will be awesome with um, together as a community community here so let's get started in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add physics onto your amateurs so this is made possible by an awesome add-on called the wiggle bone add-on and the great thing about this is that it is free I'm gonna leave a link in the description so if you're interested in getting it you can just go ahead and download it and once you've downloaded it, and if you're not familiar with how to install it inside Blender, I'll quickly show you how to do that. So you want to go to Edit, Preference, click on Add-on, and go ahead and install it. And you want to go where you have it saved, usually it's around the download area or compressed folder. And you just want to select that and install it and enable that. So once you've enabled that, you're good to go. The next stage is to have an animation that can trigger the motion because the awesome thing about this add-on, it works in conjunction with your animation and these individual bones can be animated and then you can add the physics on top of that animation. So it's very great for overlapping action and I'm going to show you now. So I have this character um, all set. It was rigged um, using the Pupa add-on. This is, uh, this is an add-on which I worked on with a very talented developer. And this add-on is kind of Mixamo inside Blender. So if you're interested of checking it out, I have a lot of videos that kind of going into in-depth on how you can use this particular add-on. But what we're going to do right now is just use um, get one animation from this add-on. So I'm just going to use this one I have currently. And since I have this trick selected, I can just hit on apply animation. And it just loads in the animation onto the character and we can see. So currently as the animation is playing, you can see we're having um, some wiggle in the um, back area. And this is because of um, the wiggle bone add-on. So basically how you want to use that is you want to select any bone and just by default it's disabled. So you want to go ahead and enable it. Um, so that's what I've done here. And as you can see, if I select this bone, it's disabled by default. So you want to go in and enable it. So I already have this tool enabled and yeah, so that's basically how you can get started with it. And generally, generally, as you can see, the UI is quite simple and self-explanatory. We have stiffness, damping, altitude, um, and stretching. Um, the main stuff you'll be playing with are this aptitude to um, kind of tell it how the this is kind of the strength of how much you want that um, so let's go ahead and play this animation and if i select this particular bone and increase the aptitude to like 100 you can see it gets um, very um, jiggly uh, we can reduce that back to something where that works great you also have the stretching and it does what it says it stretches out the bone so we can um, increase this to like 10 and you see it, it stretched out even more so usually you want to play with this value depending on the um, the asset you're working with or the kind of action which you're trying to um, or the type of feeling which you're trying to get from your asset. Um, you also have the stiffness which does what it says. If you're trying to retain the volume of the bone to kind of have little to, uh, to no motion, um, you can play with the stiffness. So if you reduce this to zero, sorry, um, if you increase this, let's recalculate so if you set this to zero it's stiff and if you increase it then you start getting jiggle and it can also go into negative value to kind of flip that action so point four um, is what works for this particular um, animation and if you see any weird stuff you can go back to frame one to kind of recalculate everything once more um, so that's basically it, but don't go yet because the, there's a very important um, factor which I should have mentioned very early in case some people left already. Uh, so basically, once you're done with this and you want to render out your animation, you don't want to go, uh, you, you don't want to just hit render. 
um, because what happens is that it's not cached um, cached yet and it would not render out when you animate when you try to render out your animation so the basic way you can kind of store this information once you're happy with the look is to select these two bones and if you hit f3 for the search um, ui I, I think you can access it here too so if we go to operation um, operation search we can search for bake so um so we want to select bake action okay so it's telling us we have frame one to fr uh, frame 109 um so this is basically the uh, the time uh, the length of the animation we have here the the length of the timeline so this is what we have so it, it depends on the amount of frames you want to bake but um, typically it just um, loads in the current length of the timeline um, so let's bring that out one more time so we have the setup um, frame step we want to leave it at one so we want to use only selected bones okay and import importantly you want to make sure you check on override um, overrides current action um, what this does is it just applies the animation on top of the animation because if you uncheck this it's just going to do, it's kind of going to mess, mess up your animation so you want to make sure you click on that and once you've done that you can hit ok and it just bakes in the wiggle nest and you can actually go ahead and disable this and it just works it has baked it down onto keyframe level which means you can now export it to game engines so um, or other software and work with it like your animation so that will be it guys for this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful please subscribe if you're not subscribed already we put i put out really great content here and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it will help the algorithm kind of recommend it to more blender users that will find this really really useful i am wishing guys a happy new year filled with prosperity and happiness and joy um so Bye-bye for now. See you next time.